Hi, Ilya. Welcome to Buffalo. Hi, Paul. Um, Thank you. I wanted to ask you, last year when you played for Toronto, you played against mm -hmm. Buffalo a lot, and Buffalo always played good games against you. Did that kind of help you in your decision when you thought maybe you wanted to join this organization? Yeah, you know what's happened when I play in Arizona against Buffalo? It's same, all this stuff. I don't know why, but it's all this stuff for me. After this game, I feel like, oh, my God, it's so hard game. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's make my decision, but yeah, I know what. It's hard work team, you know. Hi, Ilya. Uh, last season, Hello. last season, you got opportunity in Arizona and Toronto to show that you can make an impact in the NHL. You got more minutes. How did you, I guess, improve your game through that experience last season? Uh, you know, I, I try always play tough, like do my job and try nothing changes, just work it every day, stay, I want to get better every day, make some hard practice, uh, work it and just work it, work it, work it. <laughs> How can you get better? So when, when free agency started Wednesday, what, what made the Sabres the team that you wanted to join? Uh, excuse me, can you, I'm just a little bit non-distant. The Sabres, why did you pick yeah. them in free agency? Uh, because I feel like how they want to sign me, you know. When I spoke with my agent and with general manager, I feel like well, just this team who's one of me sign me. Thank you. Hi, Ilya. Just uh, you were having a successful career in Russia. Uh, just what made you want to come to North America and the NHL, uh, whatever it was, four years ago? Uh, when I grow up, uh, it's my dream for NHL, of course. Uh, KHL is good league, but NHL is first league for sure. Uh, and after five good seasons in KHL, uh, I feel it what I can go right now because if it, it doesn't go, it's too late and I go. Thank you. Thank you. Ilya, Buffalo has six young defensemen. Um, the oldest guy is 25 years old. Um, plus, you're different than them. You, you bring physical hit, hitting, that kind of stuff. How much can you help those young defensemen in, in the way they're growing right now? Uh, I think they help me. I can help them, you know. Uh, I can see how, how how they can play good skills. Like, I, they can see on me how can I play physical, you know. And we both can teach a little bit each other. And, and Buffalo drafted four Russians last year, another one this year. One of them will come to training camp, uh, Alexander Kisikov. Can you help him along? This will be his first training camp in North America, professional, in professional hockey. Will he look to you to maybe help him a lot? Yeah, I try. I try to help everyone who's needed, you know. But it doesn't matter Russian or North American, Swedish. It doesn't matter for me if... I still teach hockey too, you know, but if I can help some guys, it's perfect. And one more, are you excited to play with a guy like Rasmus Dahlin? Uh, you got yeah, to see course. him play last year. And, and what do you uh, think of Rasmus? Uh, I know he's so smart guy, so good skills. It's high level player, very high level player. Hi there, Ilya. Thanks for coming on here. Um, I wanted to ask you a little more about playing the Sabres last year. What what was the experience like for you in the outdoor game? I know the Leafs didn't win, but what was the outdoor game like for you to play in? You know, I think outdoor game for me, it's little difference, but because I never played before, I feel a difference, uh, like difference mine. Oh my God, it's first 
outdoor game for me, a lot of fans. Uh, I don't think what I think. I don't think too much about who we play against. You know, I just try to enjoy this game. Why do you think the the three games at the end of the year against the Sabers were so hard for the Leafs? What made them hard games? Oh, it's tough questions because Sabers play all this stuff. Seriously, have uh, I'm defenseman for me. Uh, when we play against uh, Sabers, uh, it's so hard for check. I think so for me. I don't have the time to pick up puck or don't have the seconds to see what's going on on ice. You need to move puck quicker, quicker, quicker because they play and, physical. And the last question for me, um, you like to play a physical game. You can look on YouTube and yeah. see a lot of your checks. Tell me about what, what makes you like playing a physical game because they need physical defensemen here. What's make me? Yeah, why? What? Uh, how much do you what, enjoy what? playing the physical game? I, I like my game. I like my job. Like I know my role. I know what game I needed to play to help team. Yeah, I just enjoy and don't think too much about it. Like physical, no physical. I just try to do best my job. Thank you. Thank you. Ilya, Zach with Trainwreck Sports, thanks for taking the time. Um, to follow up on that, uh, there is a lot to be excited about your game. Uh, we've been seeing the physical play on socials. Is there anything particular you want to work on your game going into the season? Of course. I try to work with my skills, on my skills, you know, move back better, uh, work it in my hands, my shot. It's what I'd like to improve. Awesome. And obviously, you know, anyone growing up a Sabres fan, the Leafs are, you know, a, a huge rivalry. It's kind of fallen off a little bit in the last couple of years with not being able to cross the border a couple of seasons ago. Do you look forward to kind of reigniting that rivalry going from one team to another? Mm, yes. So, so you can you repeat a little bit? Just uh, basically, or... just just going from one team to another. Oh when yeah. Both, when Ch both teams are rivals, team. are you looking forward to that? Uh, not really. I think so. Hi, Elias. The playoffs. What was the experience like for you that series against Tampa? Oh, it's I like for me. It's first playoff when I play. Uh, I, I want to say it's different game from regular seasons because game going faster, going more physical. Uh, it's good experience, good experience for me too. Uh, for the next season, and do you uh, do you know Vinny Henestroza from your time in Arizona? <laughs> of course, I like Vinny. He's a good guy. <laughs> Did you guys talk uh, after you signed when you made your decision? Uh, he, he texted it to me. Okay. All right. Well, thanks, Ilya. Thank you. All right. Do we have any other questions for Ilya? All right. Thanks for your time today, Ilya. It was nice to meet you. Yeah, thank you so much, guys. Nice to meet you, too.